Let's continue with the integration between BigFix and Curator. One of the integration aspect is the addition of a new dashboard in the BigFix console. Let me actually show you that dashboard right here. And if we go into endpoint protection, there is a section on the managed computer. There is a new managed vulnerable computers. And what we have in here, in here is the information being sent from Curator to BigFix. And notice that Curator uses the CVE type of uh, nomenclature. Big fix is bilingual in that sense, it managed them both. And we see, you know, vulnerability is 10, 9.3, 9, 9 and that should correspond if we actually go to the uh, vulnerability tab in Curator, actually looking at that uh, specific machine, 203, which is uh, one of my vulnerable machines in the system, we see that it corresponds with the number of, uh, of of vulnerabilities. So wh why is that dashboard useful? Is Big Fix already knows about those things? Well, what Big Fix does not know is the network activity. So what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be attacking this 203 machine ends in 203, the, the network address of it. We're going to be attacking that machine using Kali and that attack is going to go through our XGS IPS, which very diligently is going to identify the nature of the attack, and it's going to be sending a log into Curator that indicates that attack. And what Curator is going to do, because it received that information from BigFix, that knows about what's vulnerable there, is going to connect the dots and it's going to say, whoa, this vulnerability is being exploited. Therefore, I'm going to fire an offense that is going to alert the curator folks. But then automatically, I'm going to be sending to that new dashboard an updated view that will, in our case, we, this, we put a policy in the risk manager component of a vulnerability manager that is actually going to increase 100% the risk score of a vulnerability and the vulnerability that we are exploiting is an all -L -L -E, uh vulnerability that uh, is uh, I think it is uh, 8.3 uh, the CVSS so because we know that it's being exploited we're going to increase and we're going to double the risk score of it and it's going to highlight very nicely in the big fix console for the big operator to do quarantine or or if he is being delaying the patching for some reason uh, for him to take uh, some actions so we have our Kali attack loaded and ready so anyone who goes uh, into this uh, address is going to fall victim of this particular attack so what we do from this 203 machine this vulnerable machine we actually are going to go into that uh, specific URL to say that the guy click on a on a specific uh, uh, campaign and bingo we see here in Cali that the machine has been fully compromised that machine is mine but notice that in the background the XGS was diligently sending logs to Curera indicating that there is a uh, these two attack and a script array will flow that's the OLE information and the shells uh, uh, the Internet Explorer checks execute vulnerability and the XGS, you know, detect those. And now as a consequence of that, we have an offense, actually two offenses that fire, indicating precisely that the destination has that is vulnerable has actually been attacked. Also, in the risk manager component of vulnerability manager, we have this policy monitor. Actually, let me enable that. Now, that uh, is going to actually double the risk score of any exploited uh, vulnerabilities. So, when this policy gets evaluated, that typically happens every hour. In this particular case, because I just edit the, the policy, is going to be uh, evaluated uh, uh, more rapidly than that. 
and that's going to make that rescore go from 8.3, I believe it was, to uh, 16.6 uh, or whatever it was the, the double. We'll we'll see it in the in the actual uh, both QRadar and Big Fix consoles. So that policy got evaluated, and as we see here in the QRadar console, those two vulnerabilities got double. Now what we need to see is actually that that information went to the Big Fix console. I'm going to pause the video because this information doesn't go real time. I mean, this gets a policy. I mean, you can imagine that having you know hundreds of thousands of uh, endpoints with thousands of vulnerabilities each. This this is not something that you want to send each and every time. But so there's a period. Uh, I believe it is uh, five minutes that uh, we have defined in here, in which the information gets actually sent uh, uh, to the Big Fit console. So I'm going to pause the video until that information gets sent. And here you have it. You know, those two vulnerabilities, because they were exploited, we are telling the Big Fix operator, hey, you know, this one have a very high CVSS risk score. You need to deal with it, take care of it. And although this is a video about Big Fix and Curator integration only, uh, let me talk a little bit about how you can stop this. Let's say that for some particular reason you don't want to apply the patch because it breaks something else, and you know, let's say you know, I don't know, for whatever reason you need to leave that behind. You can actually go back to Curator on the vulnerability tab and ask this question: Has the Vulnerability as a virtual patch. In this case, I'm asking for the uh, Provencia, for uh, the, the XGS IPS. The, uh, and for this vulnerability, which is one of the ones that was actually exploited, and we see that, yeah, the, 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 the virtual patch uh, can stop this particular issue. So if you go in, in there and say, okay, good, my, my XGS has a, has a virtual patch for it, that we see here on the metadata from MITRE, that vulnerability carries that virtual patch IDS information, and sure enough, Provencia can stop this, and this is the virtual uh, patch signature that we need to deploy. But also, if you have, you know, Palo or, or you know, other uh, type of endpoint, they can also uh, stop it as well. So this can be another way. Uh, if for some reason, you cannot apply a patch because it breaks some of the things.